Our first category is the Business Award. This award is presented by our community partner, the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Business Association. To present the award, will you please welcome to the stage the president of the SGLBA, Jared Wunz. Thanks, Jason, and uh, thank you, Savannah, for the welcome to country uh, just before. Good evening, everyone. Uh, it's so great to be back here at the 2024 uh, Honour Awards. On behalf of the SGLBA, the Sydney Gay and Lesbian Business Association, it's our immense pleasure to again sponsor uh, this year's Business Award. In 2024, the SGLBA is embarking on a journey that builds upon our 40-year history to realise a stronger, inclusive and contemporary organisation that supports our LGBTQIA plus business owners, operators and professionals. Fruits Sydney is attracting around 200 guests a month. We've started Fruits in Parramatta. Lemons turns 25 next month. We've paid homage to our history by hosting the inaugural Glynn Legacy earlier in the year with the Star Observer. And on Saturday the 19th of October, we're launching Buy Rainbow, which will be Sydney's only LGBTQIA plus small business fair. The Ed SGLBA Education Fund is also renewed and refreshed with our Scholarship Awards Night on the 2nd of October. And we also announced our name change proposal earlier this week. So there's a lot happening at the SGLBA. Uh, tonight, please come and have a chat with me, the many directors here tonight uh, and our members. We're thrilled that so many of you have joined us on this journey already and we can't wait for more of you to join us as well. On behalf of the SGLBA, congratulations to all the nominees, finalists and award winners tonight. Now, here are the finalists for the 2024 Acon Honour Awards Business Award. Deb Saywell's Shane Avenue. Pioneering suiting brand Shane Avenue, led by Deb Saywell, provides a vital service in the niche market of gender-affirming clothing. Planet Dwellers, a shining beacon on Oxford Street, Planet Dwellers serves the local community and global LGBTQIA visitors with travel, tours and events that brings the entire Rainbow family together. Hank Paul. Hank is the co-founder of They Connect, a game-changing marketing consultancy agency dedicated to helping large and global brands connect authentically with LGBTIQ audiences. Ty Dovins and Luke Frappel for 357. Ty and Luke have been unwavering in supporting the health and well-being of the community since opening 357 in 2001. They continue that legacy at their new venture, Sauna X by 357. And the winner of the 2024 Business Award is 357. Okay, I don't know why we listen to 9 to 5, that's amazing, um, okay. <laughs> Everybody, to have an award, but an award by your peers and the people that you've been serving for two decades is incredibly special. I cannot explain how humble Luke and I feel this evening. It is unbelievable for us to be up here, and I wasn't expecting it, and it's amazing. And secondly, the fact that this is a sex on premises venue blows my mind. <laughs> I've written down a whole lot of things to say in case we ever won, but I didn't want to bring that up here. I just wanted to talk from my heart, and I'll be very, very quick. Acon have been absolutely incredible for us, way, way beyond anyone's expectations. We started with Acon when we first wanted to open the sauna decades ago. The stuff that they've helped us through over the last 23 years is unbelievable. The sex bird programs, the cruising workshops, and all the help with HIV and everything. I just don't know how we could have ever run 357 without ACON. So I want to share this award with ACON. You guys are incredible. Thank you so much. And nothing changes. Last Sunday, they were at Sauna X, and we did like dozens and dozens of MPOX vaccinations at, at Sauna X, again because of ACON. They are out there every single day doing something, and only today we spoke to somebody who again flies around regionally and goes to all different places to help people. This award we are sharing with ACON, it's not just about 357. Thank you. Yeah. And <laughs> we, we hope that we've served you really well over the last couple of decades. We're now at Taylor Street but 357 will always remain in our memories. When you walk past that building, which is now going to be an 18-storey hotel, thanks to developers, 
we hope that you can at least look up and say, hey, I remember that place, that's pretty good. And we've seen a lot of clients here tonight, although some haven't. <laughs> although, as usual, most haven't acknowledged us. <laughs> so. Okay, we're getting paid off. Thank you very much from our heart, Luke.